Today's Neanderthal Museum is located close to the place where in 1856 quarrymen found the famous skeletal remains that would give an entire human species its name. Founded as a multimedia, interactive museum on the history of humankind, the museum employs a wide range of new media. It also researches the way they are used and the impact they achieve. The new Neanderthal Plus app allows visitors to discover more with their smartphones in and around the museum. Before exploring the actual museum, visitors can use the app to find out more about its history and architecture, get an impression of current and future exhibitions, or find the museum's opening hours and directions. In the Neanderthal Museum's exhibition, young and old visitors can use the app to select different tours, each according to his or her interests. It is easy to choose. Either the contents of the selected tour automatically appear on your smartphone, or you can explore the exhibition on your own. This is made possible by beacons, small Bluetooth transmitters that send information to smartphones in their proximity, and QR codes, which allow visitors to actively access contents. Building on the information provided in the museum's audio guide, interactive multimedia contents are accessible with the Neanderthal Plus app at almost 50 stations in and around the museum. The app can be used not only in the exhibition, but also at the site where the Neanderthal skeletal remains were discovered and on the art trail. Based on the current museum app, Neanderthal Plus was developed in-house at the museum. Besides using the versatile QR codes, it is one of the first museums to employ beacon technology. With the app Neanderthal Plus, we are offering additional mobile content that visitors can download on their mobile devices. For that reason, the app focuses on interactive tours that can be used inside and outside the museum on location. And for this purpose, we are using Beacon technology. At the same time, the app is part of a research project at the University of Cologne, where I'm studying the use and effect of mobile media in the museum context. In case of the Neanderthal Museum, we would like to get more information for our visitor research, to be able to adjust our mobile content and to plan future mobile strategies. True to the topic human evolution, the visitor is at the center of the exhibition. With the Neanderthal Plus app, visitors have the opportunity to interact with the museum. For example, you can make a selfie and directly share your visit with your friends. The app also offers exclusive products in the museum shop and in the museum cafe. As a visitor, it allows you to give us feedback in different surveys and to stay up to date on events and offers for your next visit.